Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Christian from Berlin. It's great if you have a little repertoire of rhythms in your left hand for livelier gigs or for a wider range of um, songs. Like play a little uh, Latin or maybe blues or if you can make p uh, songs swing a little, you need a walking bass. So I'm going to make you walk today. Jesus said that. Ah. If you enjoyed this, uh, it's not that hard. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. It makes my channel grow a little bit. And uh, let's go, walk. Hello and welcome everybody. So you want to make your song swing and you heard about the walking bass and that really intimidates you like the big bad wolf. I'm just a big bad uh, uh, fox. Uh, and it is manageable because we will play patterns. So. It's not like you uh, have to improvise in the left hand and then do quantum physics in the right hand, but we pre-practice patterns so they, it sounds like we're not always playing the same stuff. And then you will see there's order in it and hey, that's manageable. This would be the first very simple trick to play walking bass is just play the chord notes. You cannot do anything wrong with it. It sounds a bit amateur, well, <laughs> amateurish, yeah, but it will do the trick sometimes. So if the, f the first easy solution is we take an example, a popular example, um, all of me. Um, You see, just it works because it's an old-fashioned song and the old-fashioned walking bass and triads works also. So this is, I don't, you don't need a teacher for this, you just play um, fourth notes in, in the basic triad. Um, but we want to go, a of course, a little bit further. Hey, you're on my channel here, uh, we do, don't do the cheap stuff. Okay, now let's try this one. We have... How is that? So you see, we have something we have the drive, and then we just add the sixth, and then we add the octave, and it's much nicer walking bass, and everybody can learn this pattern. Don't tell me you can't. It's just a little oversetting, and it makes so much more sound. Of course, we also have if this would be a C7 chord, like in blues, you would have. Seven. And so we don't use the octave if there's a C7. And this one you know. Uh, go to my uh, walking bass for blues. I link it uh, downstairs. Now I link it in the text box uh, where I tell you this one. Okay. Um, but anyway, I, I just told you. I just taught you the uh, with the seventh. So. And this already, with a little bit of oversetting, we walk a little longer lines. It's more musical, it makes more impression. More often, we have the, um, the uh, variation that we, for example, we have a combination of uh, two, two, five. Let's start with, um, uh, like, for example, in, 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 in C, it would be like the D minor seven, uh, the G seven, and the one. So, typical chord progressions. Yeah, this is very often that we have a two, five, one. And for these uh, chord progressions that are very often, it's we just learn patterns how to solve those as a walking bass, and we can use it on any two, five chord progressions. And for the uh, for the uh, other progressions, we just uh, we come to that a little bit later. So let's. Um, uh, have the two five chord progressions like old tunes, um, like uh, jazzy tunes, very often they're full of two five. Now we want to solve this. And it, for this one, we don't use the uh, chord notes, like we're starting with the D minor seven, which is the second degree of C. We just to do a little bit of theory that helps here. Uh, we have the G seven and the C, uh, let's say C major. Yeah, so we have a two five one. Um, and I use a pattern to connect these, which I use almost always. If you look at my arrangements, you will find those. And it's like this. Yeah. And we are, have the first pattern here that is connecting these uh, um, 
these steps, uh, these chords with scale notes. So we walk up, you see, we walk up just to the third, and then you will say like, ah, Christian, you're playing the D sharp, but aren't we in C? So it's a D minor seven. Why can you play this? And this is already very important because it helps us. Um, it's a chromatic leading note uh, here, and it works perfectly. It doesn't sound wrong because it's just chromatically leading. We have a couple of more, more of those later on to the G. It's not wrong. So, th and that's great for walking bass. And you can hear it, it doesn't sound wrong. It's D minor played in the right hand here. It's not clashing at all. Uh, and it makes our root really easy to play. And we go just down in the scale notes of C. And this is very easy to remember for the muscle memory in case you have muscles in your hand. Well, well this is the muscles for the hands, no? I believe so, I don't know. This is a muscle power inside, I don't know. So you see, you can play this blindly, blindly. And that's what we want, because then if you can play this blindly, this pattern, then you're all free to solve this. Now, watch out. Now you know D minor seven, G seven and C. But Christian said pattern, that, might, that means there might be more of those that can, we can play with the same pattern, and there are. Let's just take, for example, <clears throat> let's take, we find an A minor 7 and D7 and G major 7. This is a 2-5 of, uh, uh, of G7. 2, 5, 1. And can you believe it? Um, well, first, the student, what the student likes if, uh, if he learned this is he, he goes too far up with the bass where it's not sounding bassy anymore. Like, yeah, you can do it still. It's just about the border, I would say, but uh, here it sounds a little bit more bassy. Yeah, but I will show it here so we have everything in, uh, in uh, view. So, again, like here, we can use just the same here. Okay, same pattern. Now let's say um, we use, uh, now G was the one, let's say F is the one now. Second degree, now you're learning with me. Come on, somebody say so, say, uh, what's the second degree of F? It's G minor seven and C seven, and that sounds some crap like this. And G minor seven, C seven and F. And what did I tell you? Now you can play it yourself. With, if you have something to do here, let's say. I just looked here. This is in my hand. I can play this by heart. When there will be other chord progressions, you can use uh, the same trick in many of them. Let's just say, um, hold on. Uh, for example, um, the first bit of Fly Me to the Moon, we have the sixth degree. We are in C, please remember that. We are in C. From C, the A minor is the sixth degree. We have the second degree. We have the fifth degree, the dominant seventh chord, going back to C. So it would go like... Now let's have a look what I played from, from the sixth degree to the second degree. It's the same. It's the same here. Will you look, look at the left hand, please? Same pattern. Up, leading tone, half note. And now we are on the five instead of the one. Okay, so uh, just connecting uh, this um, A minor. Same pattern as we uh, used for the two five connections. Now, now it's the D minor. It's the, now it's the second. And here. Okay. Oh, now we, we have a combination of two elements, but the one pattern you know already. And now it's coming like, 
we cannot use that. We come from the dominant. Uh, usually we went uh, we went uh, down from the dominant, like in from D minor G7. We went. What did we do there from the dominant? We are here in the dominant, and we went just down. Now we start from uh, the sixth uh, uh, degree, second degree. We could, but this is getting a bit um, low. So. The tendency is uh, sometimes that we only have one pattern, we end up to low or to high. Now, look what I did. Again, 6th degree A minor, D minor 7, 2nd degree of C, and now... I used the, the, uh, the chord pattern, the one I showed you before, just try it, plus the um, the scale pattern and now G triplet uh, 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 try it G and C try okay now we're coming to two uh, or two or three uh, practical helpers that are really important bass players also repeat notes. So of course you think um, <clears throat> when the bass player walks, he must walk some distance, you know? Bup, 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 bup. Sometimes if uh, the bass player has little time, maybe just half a bar, he also repeats notes. Um, what song comes to my mind? Let's say this one. It's the beginning of uh, uh, Paper Moon, pa something else in Paper Moon. So we have the C in the beginning, one, two, fourth. Then we have the C sharp diminished, or as it says in the display, D flat diminished. And going to D, very typical chord progression, and to G. Now, a lot of bass players uh, play just this. One, repeating especially at higher tempo. And then they uh, walk on. And if you use it uh, just in between a little bit, this is still, it's not interrupting the feeling. So that's the first bit, repeating notes. And here we come to the second uh, big trick, and that is chromatic approach. Let's just say you want to go from uh, C to A minor. How, how could you do this? Well, you know the first bit. You know the, um, the, uh, the walking up the chord notes. But in the in next but one, uh, on the next bar, you have to uh, like uh, kill one more note on C to, of course, the next note, is, uh, next chord uh, is gonna be A minor. So we have two chords to connect, C and A minor. And now listen to this. How wonderful is that, Christian, here. Now, this note is not in the, the let's say this uh, part of the song is in C. This song, this note is not in the C diatonic scale. How come, Christian, that we can't just use this strange alien note? It's, chrom we are approaching it chromatically and just sounds good, even though this gets a full fourth note. Just listen, does it sound bad? Do you get headache? No, it sounds even good. And uh, you can do this even from both sides and it works very often. So if you have one note more to kill, or you could go back uh, on the, on the uh, chord note. Yeah, totally legitimate, also le legitimized by NATO um, here. But this sounds more elegant because it's a line. It's not much jumping, yeah? That sounds always a little better. So we go from C, bop, bop, bop. And now imagine we want to go from, would be a typical chord progression is C, A minor, six degree, D minor, G. 
okay, we have something more in here that you saw already. Now, first, the chromatic approach. Now we want to go from the A minor and we just walk down from the A minor to the D minor, just walking down. Now, of course, if it's not in C, you have to know that if you walk down from C to F, it's this bit. If you walk down from D to G, it's, it's this. This F you have to know, of course, uh, and you find that out just by figuring out in what key you are at that moment, if that note is allowed. Because we will just know in C, and from A to D, C, all white notes, yeah, that's very, that's very amateurish description. The teacher should not say all white notes. That's good. Uh, it's, of course, we have no sharps and no flats, so we can just walk down and we know nothing can happen to us. And then we are on D, and from D, you know already the pattern. You practice that, it's in your hand. We go to G, and from G, we go down again. Listen. And from G, now, if you have a song now that has these chord progression, has these chord progressions, then uh, you practice this, you pre-practice this. And don't tell me you will not manage. And then, let's say you have a, a stupid little melody. Whatever you see, uh, it works wonders, and it's a great, great help. This uh, chromatic approach. Now, I, t uh, I told you you can approach target notes from either the left side, from from west, or from east. Now, uh, let's say we want. You know this one now. That's coming from west, from the uh, uh, from the left side, and but listen to this. That works also from the right, or both sides are not in the scale, but chromatically we fall into the target note. In this case, of course, this sounds a little bit better from going, because it's more coherent, it's more, it's more of a nice line. So you, you learn now this pattern, which we can also use to come from C to G. Have I showed you this already? Of course. Okay, in, blue, uh, in, in, uh, no, in some styles we have a lot of these 2 5 combinations D minor, 7. But you want to maybe play a, a style, swing up a style um, that has just more to do with the 1, from, like from uh, root to F. Yeah, just regular 1 4 5, which is, you, you have that everywhere in rock, in country, whatever. Now, uh, let's have a look. Okay, that was country song, okay, uh, and we wanted to tie the, the C to the F. How did we do it? Our old pattern, like this, duh, 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 just moved a little bit. Our old line. Now. Yeah. This is what we have, what we call in blues, a run-up, going from the uh, root to the subdominant. Yeah. We are there. Wonderful. So that's also a great little run up. It's easy to remember. It's just one whole tone and then it goes chromatically. Fantastic. Fantastic stuff. Now, what if we want to go from the chord C to the G? Also, very often used. Now, and listen to this. Um, I invent some um, melody here.
So we have bum, 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 so whatever bum, 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 and now we want to go to G. Yeah, and we do the same, uh, almost the same architecture of the fingers here. Um, uh, we go to the third and then we wander up and it's the same as in minor. Do you remember in uh, from going from D minor to G7? We had this uh, no, from uh, D minor to A And from C to G is almost the same, but we have a major third because it's a major chord And here again, we just walk down again uh, in the key to the root if we want to so just like we walk down from here and from G7 again. Perfect, okay? With this, with this, you can already do almost anything, even any, even everything, <laughs> yeah. Is everything more than anything? Uh, I hope so. Okay. Let's summarize what, do, what we learned, hopefully. Uh, if you have enough time, then you can play out the full chord notes, like with a C major or C6. If it's a C7, you play, of course, the seventh here. Then we have the uh, the scale pattern, for example, in a 2-5 progression. You march like this to the to the dominant seven, and if you want, just down to the one. We can use this also to connect any my two minor chords. Same root. We can also use almost the same pattern to connect, for example, the uh, the C to the dominant, like this. The chromatic approach, like approaching the target note, either from left or from right, and we come from here. Uh, we are in C. Target note was F. And the chord F2, so we just play chord notes and go straight. Wonderful connection of these two chords. Then we have repetition again. Okay. Let's say we swing the. We want decided to. Well, we want to swing the uh, the chorus of "Can't Buy Me Love." And we have A minor to D minor. Now you know this. Chord notes, repeating notes, F, chord notes, same again, scale pattern. Here, G minor chord notes. And again, and then I say bye bye. Okay, again, we go from A minor. Can buy me love. Chord pattern. Chord notes D minor. Repeating B flat seven, C seven. Chord notes. A minor. Scale pattern. D minor chord notes. And G minor chord notes. Going back to the root. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a little bit to learn, but you just learn the patterns a couple of times and you get um, more and more familiar with those. And then you can focus on swinging the right hand to pieces. Thanks from Berlin. Uh, subscribe. We learn a lot of different stuff here, hopefully with a lot of fun. Bye bye. <laughs>